Hi, everybody. Well, lousy election result last night, right? It's not what we wanted. Uh, but uh, look, today, I want everybody to know that we will get through this. We will get through this collectively, together. I know folks are upset, you know, anxious. Some people are scared. But I want you to know that Project 2025, <clears throat> the uh, danger that it represents, the danger of a dictatorship, it is not inevitable, you know? It all depends on what we do. That's the important thing. And the important thing is for us to not get cowed by the victory. Because by the way, <clears throat> I don't know if you know this, Trump got less votes this time around, and he did in 2020. It's the truth, you know? And so we need to take a moment and, and really figure out what happened. And Kamala Harris and the Democrats for Congress and, you know, state legislatures and so on and so forth, they got less votes too. So we need to find out what actually happened. But in the meantime, we need to reach out and talk to, work with our neighbors, our unions, our churches, our uh, synagogues, our mosques. Uh, we need to reach out to believers and non-believers, the uh, women's organization, civil rights, rank and file people, everybody that we know, uh, and encourage them to uh, take a moment, assess what happened, and then let's get busy fighting the implications of this decision. There are gonna be protests, you know, in the next days, weeks, and, and months. And because the issues that we fought around in this magnificent coalition that was built over the last few months, they're not gonna go away, you know? Abortion rights, labor rights, uh, 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 gun issues, uh, the, the, the issue of the environment, voting rights, police murder, they're still with us. And it's likely that they're gonna grow worse as time goes on because capitalism uh, and the mega forces that are moved into control now, they're not able to solve the crisis. That crisis has to be solved uh, by taking, you know, progressive, uh, direct measures, anti-monopoly measures, measures that move in the direction of socialism to solve them. And that includes, uh, by the way, the war in, in Gaza. We have to put that at the top of our agenda. It is not going away. And you better believe that Netanyahu and company are encouraged encouraged by this uh, victory. And we, speaking of encouragement, are so encouraged by the work that everybody has done over the last period to defeat the mega right, you know? We went canvassing. We did phone banks. We, 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 we uh, sent uh, letters and postcards, you know? We, we, we sent text messages and, and emails. And, and that work will not go away. And, and it had an impact, and the relationships that we built had an impact. Look, you know, we've been here before, when Reagan was elected, uh, when Bush won was elected, and, and Bush too. We were here when uh, a Gingrich was elected uh, to a Congress along with the class of 77 and imposed the contract on America on the working people of this country. Uh, and we know that with struggle, those measures and those administrations were defeated and so will this one because we're not going back. Uh, we are gonna fight these, these policies and this administration and their racism and misogyny and homophobia uh, uh, will not stand. 
it will not stand. Uh, and united, we will be able to push it back, overcome it, overcome it, and uh, come out stronger. So take a moment, you know. Uh, take two moments, and then let's get back to the struggle. Uh, the time is now for Resistance 2.0. See you on the front lines.